Get your Five Live podcasts from the Five Live website, including Five Live Drive. bbc.co.uk slash Five Live. Hi, welcome to Five Live Drive's story of the day and British Airways cabin crew who are members of the Unite Union have voted overwhelmingly in favour of industrial action. I asked the union's assistant general secretary, Lynn McCluskey, if he could tell me when they were going on strike. What we're basically saying is that uh, we've been involved in discussions with the company uh, under the auspices of the TUC. They've been meaningful negotiations and we want to try and move forward to try to reach a resolution. But as of yet, we have not announced any strike dates. Some of the talking going on does sound as if you're both getting sort of into your trenches. I mean, I, I was listening to you when you said... Um, uh, this overwhelming vote in the teeth of BA harassment and media misrepresentation and a deep sense of grievance about their treatment by by their employer. What's what's the trouble here? What's been going on, do you think? Well, of course, the situation is that our members' vote has come against the backdrop of uh, intimidation and bullying by the company, not only in terms of trying to pressurise workers to vote no and not to take strike action, but threatening to withdraw their staff travel, Uh, also trying to put together a strike-breaking crew. All of this has built up an enormous amount of pressure amongst our members. We've had uh, some members of the pilot it's not all of them. Majority of pilots are conducting themselves in their normal professional manner, but many of them are behaving in an intimidatory and bullying fashion. And it's against that backdrop that our members have still voted by 81% for strike action. Now, that demonstrates a deep sense of grievance. And what we're saying to the company is not that we want to dig, uh, retrench into, into our position. We're saying to the company they need to recognise that they've lost the trust of their cabin crew and we need need to sit around yeah. the table to actually cut an agreement that our cabin crew are happy with and, of course, British Airways are happy with. We will not allow Unite to ruin this company, said, uh, said the company uh, spokesman. Should a strike take place, we will do everything possible to protect our customers' travel plans, which means yeah. that they're going to try and run a service, whatever you do. Well, that is regrettable uh, language, and we'd much prefer that they concentrated on the grievance felt by their cabin crew. Remember, it's the cabin crew who've been mainly responsible for making British Airways the premier brands within worldwide aviation. Now, there's something wrong when in two ballots... Uh, that crew vote by 90% and now 81% to take strike action. There's clearly something wrong. So we're saying to British Airways, please wake up, smell the coffee. Yeah. This can only well, be maybe resolved... Your members, though, should wake this up can... and smell the coffee. You're paid more than the others and you can't go on being t- with that situation. Well, that's part of the misrepresentation of the media, Peter, because... the Of course it is. And I'm not going to apologise for our members' paying conditions. The truth of the matter is your listeners need to understand that if they join union, it's a fact that wherever they work, they'll be on better paying conditions. What we need to do is to make certain that British Airways sit down with us. And our position is crystal clear. This can only be resolved through negotiation, not through litigation and not through intimidation. Well, you say, you know, you talked about paying conditions. Average total pay for cabin crew, BA 29,000, EasyJet 20,000, BMI 18,000, Virgin 14,000. You know, they're the facts. Well, I don't think they are the facts, but Peter, I've just indicated to you, I'm not going to apologise for the good paying conditions yeah, that our members have. You can't carry on affording it, mate. That's the problem, isn't it? I mean, but, I, the reali- but the reality is that uh, Unite has some 30,000 members in British Airways in different sections. We understand the company is in some difficulties, and all of our members, including cab and crew, want to make their contribution. We're happy to make our contribution, and we've been trying to do that now for a considerable number of months. The imposition that British Airways have, uh, uh, have perpetrated in terms of changes has caused this dispute. And what we're saying to them, please understand, you cannot get away with imposing change. It has to be negotiated. I'm confident that if they take that message on board from today's vote, then we will be able to sit around the table and we will be able to resolve this satisfactorily. Thanks for downloading from the BBC. To find other downloads or more information, go online. bbc.co.uk slash 5 Live.